Hi, my name is Mark. Welcome back. I'm sitting here with Jackson. We're going to talk to you today about getting access to data inside of Microsoft Graph. So Jackson, as I understand it, there's three things that you need to get access to data inside of Microsoft Graph. Could you tell us about them? Yeah, that's right, Mark. So to get access to data in Graph, you'll need to first authenticate either as a user or an application. Second, you'll need to request some OAuth2 permissions. And finally, you'll need to consent to those permissions. Got it. Okay, so you need to be authenticated as an application or a user. You need OAuth permissions. You need consent. Could you tell us a little bit more about OAuth permissions? What, what is an OAuth permission? Sure. So an OAuth permission is simply a string that tells you what kind of data you're going to have access mm -hmm. to within Graph. Um, in our case, we actually have two different flavors of permissions. One is delegated permissions, and one is application permissions. Got it. And, and do I, like if I'm logged in with a uh, user account, what sort of permissions do I typically have? Typically with a user account, you'll be working with uh, delegated permissions. These are permissions that give you access just to that user's data. Okay, so, so if I'm logged into an application as a user and I have a mail.read permission, for instance, I'll only have access to my own email. That's exactly right. Got it. And if I'm logged in at, with application permissions? So if you're using application permissions, you'll have access to the data in the entire tenant. Got it. Okay, thanks. And, and let's talk a little bit about consent. What is consent and who can consent to an application? Sure. So consent just means that you're agreeing for, those per, um, for the application to have those permissions to access the data. Mm -hmm. um, in the case of delegated permissions, we can think of user consent here, which is simply the standard sort of consent flow you're used to seeing on mobile apps. I see. Um, where you'll get that list of, hey, this app wants to access this type of data. Do you consent for that? Got it. Got it. And, and what is admin consent? Right. And so then admin consent uh, typically goes along with application permissions. So with application permissions, because they have access to so much data, to data across the entire tenant, the admin for that tenant will have to explicitly grant consent. Um, OK. All right. So I've got authentication, whether it's app as a user, app or a user. I've got two types of OAuth permissions that I can request, delegated and admin, or application, delegated and application. Right. And finally, I've got two types of consent that I can be granted, and that's user consent or admin consent. That's exactly right. Great. Can we see a demo? Yeah, absolutely. Let's take a look. OK. Yeah, so let's take a look in our app registrations experience in the Azure portal. Um, right here I have an application actually already selected. My application is the new application I just made for the demo. Mm -hmm. And if we go to view API permissions down here, yeah. We'll see that we actually already have one permission, user.read. But let's look at what it uh, takes to add another permission. So okay. we click this Add Permission button at the top. And you'll see that Microsoft Graph is highlighted at the top. This is, of course, right. a big API. And then here again, we see that split reflected, delegated permissions or application permissions. Got it. So we'll select an application permission for now. And let's say we're interested in mail messages. We can search for mail and see all the relevant permissions. Uh, let's choose mail.read. Mm -hmm. We add that permission with the button at the bottom. And at this point, the ap uh, application has that permission attached. Now, since this is an application permission, like I said, we still mm -hmm. have to get admin consent. That's right. So on the same page, you'll see if we scroll down a little bit, we have grant consent. Mm -hmm. And we can grant admin consent right here. So this mm -hmm. is where an admin would actually come in the portal uh, to do this process. Got it. Click the button. The admin confirms. And at this point, we see the green check mark. Great. Thanks. Great. Thank you. OK. So now, is there any reason that I would want to use delegated permissions as opposed to application permissions? Like, really, what is the, what is the real difference? Sure. So typically, you know, we would recommend that your application be architected for what we call least privilege. Mm -hmm. This means that you access only the data that you absolutely need access to. Got it. And so delegated permissions give you a much finer grained scope of access. Um, application permissions are there for when you might need a really broad scenario like a background task, a server task, or a daemon. But in general, we would recommend that you stick with least privilege permissions. Got it. Thanks, Jackson. Well, everybody, we thank you for joining us today. And if you need more information, please join us at graph.microsoft.com.